everyone. Um, it's Andrea here from Admire PR. I and I am with Julia from Be Astute. And today we are going to talk about Harrison and Harrison assessments. Yes. Um, and how they help um, when making business decisions and promoting your business and selling and all the other business functions um, you do. So Julia, just to introduce yourself and um, tell, tell us more. Okay, well, I'm Julia Stock from Be Astute and I'm a business revolutionary, which means that I get to help people grow their businesses. Um, and that involves a wide variety of different activities, helping people kind of escalate their sales ability, um, or if they've been growing a bit too quickly, then get the whole thing back under control so that then we can go back to scaling again. Um, helping people uh, kind of work on side hustles or pivot um, and lots of just kind of motivating and organizing and keeping people feeling in tip top condition because we all suffer when we're not held accountable. That's true. Even if you've got really good self-motivation and you're really self-motivated, have lots of energy and enthusiasm, but actually working when you're the boss is really lonely. Um, if you've got a really good team around you, they can hold you accountable. But if you don't, if you are the boss and there's quite a big gap between you and your staff, then finding that energy that focus having somebody to bounce an idea off of becomes really challenging and that's where coaching can make a massive difference yeah yeah definitely um because it, it, it can be very lonely um running a business so it's, um, it's yeah. horrid um <laughs> it is both wonderful when it's going well it is a joy and a delight it's wonderful to be able to pick who you work for, the work that you're doing, you have much more control. Um, but the skills are so broad. Most people kind of become self-employed because they're an expert in their field. And then you realize, oh, I have to do all this other stuff. Yeah. Uh, I might know the theory, but as you know, there's a massive difference between the theory and the practice. Definitely. So there's a lot of people floundering um, getting it back to what we're supposed to be talking about, which is Harrison. Yeah. See, I was listening. Um, <laughs> Harrison assessments are state-of-the-art AI-informed talent diagnostics. What you know because you've been through and had your Harrison assessment is they are disgustingly accurate. Yes, scarily so really disgustingly scarily so you might not like what it says but it is you um within a recruitment perspective if you can say that they're disgustingly scarily accurate would you not want to know what you're potentially getting yourself into with this complete stranger so it's giving you a crystal ball um because within recruitment Every candidate lies. <laughs> um, because it's a sales process, I'm selling myself. So of course I'm going to lie because I want the job. But as an employer, you are also lying because you want me to accept the job. So there's this real, you know, dance going on. But candidates also can't answer a lot of questions how do i know if my work tempo is as fast as your work tempo mm. i don't know how fast you consider to be a good work tempo when somebody you know you're complaining that somebody's really slow actually harrison assessments could have told you whether or not they like to work at a really fast pace or whether or not they actually like to be they're more slow and reflective and it's such a personal preference and an organizational cultural thing there's no right or wrong answer mm. but having one member of the team that's at the complete opposite to everybody else in the team you're setting themselves yourself up for misery mm. so Definitely. but i don't know 
how I compare to somebody else. So if you asked me that question, I cannot answer it honestly. Mm. Um, do I have sufficient motivation to achieve a great salary? I don't know. I think I'm all right. But mm. so what Harrison does is assesses where I stand compared with everybody else, which I can't do. Um, and it can tell you whether or not there's things in there that mean that somebody is not well suited to a particular job role and not well suited to the culture within an organization. Um, and that's why it's super cool. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Now, we are doing our own workshop um, yeah. along with Vicky Henson in May. Um, and we're going to invite people to come and learn how to PR themselves and how to promote themselves and be comfortable with promoting themselves. Now, as a prerequisite to coming and joining our workshop, they're going to be invited to um, go through the Harrison assessment process. So how will this like help them? How is this going to help us um, conducting the workshop and how is this going to help the people coming along? Okay. As an estimate, how many different PR techniques do you have in your repertoire? Is it tens, hundreds or thousands? Oh, hundreds, I would think. Okay. Yeah. Not every one of those techniques is suited to every personality. That's correct, yeah. Okay. If we were delivering a normal workshop, you would pick Andrea's top 10 faves. Yeah. 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 And yeah, you'd be covering that. You would probably take a punt as to what you think would resonate with the audience, knowing who they are. Um, yeah. And then, because you're marvellous and you'd be training with me, we'd be doing quite a lot of scrabbling around and changing the plan as we went through the workshop, responding to the feedback that people gave. So yeah. within that workshop, there'd be a sections of question and answer where we're kind of probing and going trying to work out who you are yeah yeah harrison takes the guesswork out of it so um people who are really introverted probably aren't gonna do a boris johnson you know let's go on the higher wire across the olympic park stunt um <laughs> it wasn't even great pr for him so i doubt that it's going to get me in the paper. Um, but <laughs> you never know. Um, so that's where Harrison can help. We can basically identify the, the, the key behavioral traits and preferences that resonate in terms of attention seeking, because that's what PR is. Yeah. Um, you know, Harrison gives us data on 160 different behavioral traits and preferences. Yeah. Some of those are really relevant for um, PR, possibly things around your interest in selling, um, your interest and comfortableness in um, influencing others. Yeah. Um, potentially around how you communicate are you very diplomatic in your language really don't want to offend anybody or are you much more blunt outgoing in your face um more than happy to stick your head above the parapet yeah. um those two extremes will lead to a different pr strategy i would think yeah definitely and it leads to um there's other other things that kind of lead on like the people we can identify people who might need some coaching in order to do interviews um because they're they're more introverted and they're not so comfortable with speaking and then the other end of the spectrum those people who are are kind of quite blunt and forthright, forthright also need that um media training to make sure that they think before they they speak when a journalist asks them a question so, so um, it's going to be fascinating so you've got the acquisition of interview skills or media mm. skills that is a skill but mm. actually what you can see is depending on 
my traits and preferences, I need a different conversation. So one is around how you can scaffold and big somebody up and make them feel confident coming out from under their rock. And with another yeah. person, it's think before you speak, you gobby creature. <laughs> yeah. And point. if you were to put those two people in the same room and deliver the same content, neither would benefit because the content that you would be delivering will be in the middle of that exactly you'll be asking questions to go oh you're quiet okay think about this think about that but it's all very ad hoc Mm -hmm. whereas through harrison we know we've got five people in the room who are very quiet really will struggle with this well first of all maybe we want to talk about how they can attention seek for their business perhaps without having to do an interview because they will find that really challenging really uncomfortable so in your repertoire of several hundred techniques Mm -hmm. let's pick some different ones yeah exactly no those techniques are better for those people with the 10 really confident people who need to calm down we can then be talking much more specifically about think about this think about that think about the other Again, maybe the interview strategy is a bad plan because you're about to embarrass yourself. (laughs) So maybe we want to do that differently so that you can't embarrass yourself and lose business by showing your true personality. (laughs) Um, And that's basically how we use it. Harrison, again, because it's disgustingly accurate, tells us what's going on we can analyze where people are in terms of these key traits that relate to the subject um, and then design and deliver and implement content that speaks directly to them. In terms of their experience, they have a better experience because we're gonna be putting them into breakout groups. Being in a breakout room with people who think like you do is really comforting when you think that you're being asked to do something difficult so for these quiet introverts they don't need the gobby people go oh it's really easy i don't need that yeah actually be with people who go i get where you're coming from and i come from that too and now let's talk about how we can help you all much better training experience yeah perfect Thank you. Thank you, Julia, so much. We'll put all the details um, along with this video for for our workshop. Um, And yeah, we're looking forward to having a lovely range of different people coming along. We want to attention seek for the business. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And part of it, I mean, the cost is £99 because it includes the Harrison assessment um, and they're not cheap. Um, but part of that is also they will have a 15 minute feedback session afterwards, a debrief on what the wider issues that have been pulled up from the Harrison assessment. So from a planning perspective, we are just looking at what's relevant to the topic. But in that wider debrief, we can then talk about other things and give them wider tips for how to maximize business performance. Brilliant. Thank you, Julia. Thanks for your time. Thank you.